There are several treatment options to improve hemostasis, manage symptoms, and prevent excessive or prolonged bleeding in patients with von Willebrand disease. Antifibrinolytics, DDAVP, and von Willebrand factor replacement therapy. The haematologist decides on the most suitable care plan for each patient, based on their type of disease, the severity, and clinical circumstances. Von Willebrand disease has an impact on many aspects of healthcare, so a multidisciplinary approach is crucial. If a patient with von Willebrand disease requires acute care for bleeding or another condition, it is important to prepare for excessive hemorrhage and prioritize the bleeding in your assessment and treatment plan. If possible, ask the patient for their disease type and treatment of choice, and consult a haematologist as soon as possible. In planned care, there are specific circumstances where caution should be exercised as well. Minor elective surgery, invasive procedures, major surgery and pregnancy and delivery come with an increased bleeding risk, so careful planning is required. Always ensure a haemostasis care plan is in place. Don't hesitate to consult the haematologist up front to discuss the right approach as prevention is always preferred over treatment of bleeding. For minor procedures, antifibrinolytics may be sufficient to manage the bleeding risk. Dental procedures also require upfront risk assessment and careful planning. Dental cleaning, fillings, sealants and dental injections are usually not risky procedures and can be carried out under antifibrinolytic cover. Higher risk procedures such as gum surgery or dental extractions require local measures, systemic antifibrinolytic therapy and or replacement therapy, as well as post-operative instructions. Paracetamol and COX-2 inhibitors can be used for pain relief. NSAIDs and aspirin are relatively contraindicated in patients with von Willebrand disease. Von Willebrand disease is a chronic disorder, so the key is to support patients in living a normal life. Be aware that common symptoms like nosebleeds and heavy menstrual bleeding are treatable, and that a multidisciplinary approach is required to improve patients' quality of life. For more information on the pathophysiology, symptoms and management of Von Willebrand disease and its impact on other care, please refer to the full micro-e-learning program on core2ed.com